All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel and this week's Bike Quick Talks. So what are we talking about today? Well, I got Trek 3700 behind me because I heard a question earlier this week on one of the bicycle Facebook groups I follow, and it was, I have a non-disc brake bike, can I put disc brakes on it? So that's what we're gonna be addressing today is, can you actually put disc brakes on a non-disc brake bike? But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure the little bell icon next to that is checked so that we get notified every time I upload. So we don't miss any of these awesome bike quick talks, tutorials, reviews, and of course rides we do on this channel because they're all awesome. You don't want to miss that. So let's get right into the video here. Do you have a bike like so that has V brakes on it or a cantilever style brake or anything that is not a disc brake on the bike? Can you convert it to a disc brake? That's a very good question. So there's a couple things you're going to want to think about when you, when you start looking into possibly converting to a disc brake. First one you're gonna be really looking at is how old is your bike? How old is the frame on the bike? If you have an ancient frame, don't bother. Not worth your time. The frame's not built for the stress of disc brakes down here on the chain and seat stays. Not even close to, not even close to build to those specs. Second thing you wanna look for, does your frame actually have mounts or spots for a disc brake caliper to actually mount on the frame? Now, they do make weird little attachments them that you can bolt onto your frame they can bolt the caliper to them do i recommend those no those are not endorsed by your favorite cyclist not even close so what you're really looking for is if your rear if your rear triangle has two holes here and if your front fork has two holes down here at the very at the very front at the bottom if it does cool your frame and fork are set up for disc brakes if they don't probably should stay away from them probably should just upgrade your bike if you really want disc brakes on your bike now, with the fork, you can generally find a fork that's gonna have disc brake, it's gonna be disc brake compatible. Especially with like a suspension fork, or most forks out there, they're gonna be, they're gonna be disc brake compatible nowadays. So fork, you can definitely get one and you can get disc brakes on the front. You know, at least disc brake compatible on the front. The next thing you really wanna look for is your wheel set on the bike. And wheels, you might be thinking, well, why do I need a different wheel set? Your wheels have to be disc compatible as well. That generally means that your wheels you have are gonna be offset a little bit farther towards the inside. That way there's room for a disc rotor to actually mount up to them. There's also gonna be some way to mount those disc rotors onto the onto the wheels. Generally it's gonna be like a five bolt pattern. Some have like a cassette locking tool on them, like my Superfly. Generally, most common, gonna be a five bolt, five bolt little pattern here on the on the hub. So you're gonna to wanna to look for that. If your wheels don't have that five bolt pattern, Unless you're really, really, really willing to upgrade your wheels or change your wheel set out, you're kind of sunk. There's no way to attach a rotor to a wheel that isn't set up like that. So you are going to need some way to mount it to your wheel. Therefore, you need a disc compatible wheel set. Now, like this wheel set here is a Vuelta's. This one is, is both compatible. So I can put disc brakes on here. I can put a rim brake on here. I can do whatever I want. So something to look for, make sure your wheels are disc compatible. Next thing you wanna look for is your brake levers. Disc brakes and V brakes have different poles to them. So with a mechanical disc brake, you're gonna have less of a pole than a mechanical V brake. So you wanna make sure that your levers are even considered or even compatible with both of them. Otherwise you're gonna have some weird kind of pulls to move. You're pulling way too hard to, in order to move the disc brake caliper, anything to aim and stop you. So overall, unless your bike's set up for disc brakes, it's probably not worth your money or your time to actually switch it over to disc brakes. Probably better off just buying a bike disc brakes in the first place. Really, the only time you're gonna run into, dis into a situation where you're gonna be wanting even to run a mechanical disc brake, I mean, if you're continually, continually riding through just muddy or icy conditions, that's it. And I, I doubt very few of you are actually riding through conditions like that. Other than that, a nice solid pair of V-brakes and a pair of hydro or a pair of mechanical disc brakes, you're going to be getting about the same performance. Now, if you upgrade to hydraulic, that's a different story. But if you're looking to just switch over to just a mechanical disc brake, just stick with V brakes. Not worth your time. Not worth your effort. Just buy a new bike or buy some upgraded V brakes. That's all you're really going to need. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from this. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below. Love hearing from you guys. Love chatting with you as well. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.